my friends, my name is Kim and I'm from LAMP Early On. Today we are going to be exploring some no-bake recipes. We're going to be doing three bite-sized no-bake recipes and I hope you guys join along with me. If you do make them, I would love to know what you guys substituted things for or how they turned out, how you guys enjoyed it. So please let me know uh, either through our email or on our Facebook page. But let's begin and the first thing I'm going to do is clean my table and wash my hands and we're going to get started. Alright, so our first recipe are these apple oat bites. So for ingredients, you're going to need some oats, and then you're going to need either um, raisins, or I don't have any raisins, so I'm using uh, dried cranberries. You're also going to need some peanut butter. Uh, the only thing I have right now is crunchy peanut butter. You can use smooth. You can use almond butter or any other nut butter alternative, like wow butter if your little one's allergic to nuts. Um, you can also use tahini as well. And the last ingredient we're going to need is applesauce. If you don't have applesauce but you have apple, um, you can cook the apple so that it's mushy and then you can mash it up as well. And then in terms of the tools that we need, we are going to need a bowl, some measuring cups, measuring spoon. We have a spatula. And then I also have in here a bowl of water. It doesn't matter the temperature. We're going to use it just in case the um, as we're rolling the balls. Um, if it gets too sticky, then I'll just use the water to wet my hands so that it doesn't stick to my hand as much. We're also going to need uh, either a knife or if your little one uh, is old enough, um, you can either use a child safety knife or a butter knife, a cutting board, and either a bowl, but on, off, um, off camera I have a tray um, lined with parchment paper just so that you guys can see all of the no-baked um, bites at the end of all of this. I also have something to crush up the oats. You can also use just like the back of a spoon or a spatula. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to grab our oats. And we are going to use half a cup of oats. So I'm going to find my half cup over here. I'm going to measure up half a cup of oats. Oh, and I am sure my friends would love to help out in this part. So I'm going to pour half a cup of oats in here. Now, if you have a food processor at home, then you're not going to need something to uh, kind of grind everything up or the, um, the knife and the cutting board. Because I don't have a food processor, I'm going to have to do everything by hand. So in my bowl is half a cup of oats, and then we are going to grind it up and try to make it smaller.
So as you can see, most of it has been ground up pretty finely. Um, it's okay if there's like a couple of chunks. Obviously this process would have been a lot faster if, um, if I had a food processor and used it, this would have taken like two seconds. But it's always fun to do it by hand with your little ones too. If you, if you have um, a really big but shallow bowl, you could pour the oats in there and then the two of you or how many of you are there can all do it together at the same time. So that way everybody can be in on the fun. So now that the oats have been grounded up, we are going to take uh, two tablespoons of either your raisins or your dried cranberries. And again, um, you can either put it through the food processor to chop it up, or um, we are going to cut it up ourselves. So let me measure out two tablespoons worth. And what we're going to do is we're just going to chop it up really, really roughly. Um, I would say normally by about three, four years, depending on their fine motor skills, um, they'll, they'll be able to start with like the bigger um, the bigger cutting ones, so like bananas for example, any of the soft fruits, bananas are a really good one. Um, if you have avocado and you've already sliced it out and took out the pit, um, then they can continue slicing up the avocado for you, again with either the child safe knife um, or a butter knife. Um, and then, let's see, what other ones? Uh, cooked sweet potato that have been cooled or cooked potatoes that have been cooled are another one. You want just anything that is soft. Um, and then once they kind of get a hang of that, then they can start doing uh, these ones because these are still soft, but they're a little bit smaller. So now that that is done, we are going to put it into this bowl over here. And we are just going to Sprinkle this all in. And now we are going to need a quarter cup of applesauce. So I'm gonna pour this in here like so. And we're gonna just pour it in. Now depending on what the texture is after we mix it all up, you might need either a little bit more applesauce or a little bit more oats, really depends. Um, this one is unsweetened applesauce. And then we are going to need two tablespoons of your peanut butter or your um, nut butter alternative. So let's scoop this all in. And baking is so nice because it your child can be involved for most of the steps, obviously not the steps that include anything around the oven or the stove or hot water, um, but things like mixing and measuring, scooping are all great things. So now that we have everything in here, we are going to mix it all up.
And now is the fun part. I'm gonna wet my hands a little, and then I am going to roll these up into little bite-sized balls. If your little one um, does not like the feeling of um, like the stickiness of it, what you can do um, so that they can still be involved in this process is just grab some gloves um, and that way they can be a part of it or um, you can grab two spoons and if with the two spoons, you can get them to kind of roll it together in the spoon so that they're not touching the dough directly. And then bit by bit, um, encourage them to try to get in into it a little bit more. All right, so our next one are these no-baked energy bites. So the first thing we're going to need, we are going to need half a cup of rolled oats. So I'm going to try and find my half cup measurement and we are going to do half a cup of rolled oats into our mixing bowl. And then what we're going to need are, I have here a quarter cup of chopped up dates, which worked up to be about two dates, depending on the size of them. Um, the original recipe calls for apricots, um, but I'm replacing them with dates today. Again, with your little one, um, if they're old enough, they can chop it up because it's really soft. Um, but if, you, if you're not comfortable with that, you can always have your little one rip it up by hand as well because they are so soft it rips up by hand very very well so i'm going to add in a quarter cup of chopped up uh dates and then we are going to need we are going to need some maple syrup and i'm going to pour in a tablespoon and a half so one and And now I'm gonna wash the spoon so that I can use it again for the other ones. So next we are going to add in a tablespoon and a half of uh, flax seeds. The original recipe calls for chia seeds, um, but because I don't have that today, I'm gonna replace it with flax seeds. If you are gonna use chia seeds, um, then you're gonna have to uh, set aside, set it aside for half an hour um, so that the chia seeds can kind of absorb before you roll out everything. But because I'm using flax seeds today, I'm not probably not going to wait. And then I'm going to add in two tablespoons of dark chocolate chip. So we're just going to go in and add one and two. And now finally, we are gonna add in a quarter and one tablespoon of peanut butter or nut butter alternative. So again, we're gonna scoop in one, one tablespoon and then a quarter cup. So I'm just gonna spoon it in. So that is a good quarter cup. And my friends, the only thing left to do is mix it all up. So I'm gonna put the lid back on the peanut butter. And we are going to, I'm gonna use the spoon that I was using with the peanut butter and I'm just gonna mix it all up. Make sure that every single oat is covered by the maple syrup and the peanut butter or your nut butter alternative.
So the same thing as the um, applesauce and oat balls. You're gonna, you're gonna wet your hand and then you're gonna just roll them up into bite-sized balls. And then anytime it starts getting sticky, um, you're just gonna re-wet your hand. But this shouldn't, this one shouldn't be as sticky. It should, should form really nicely. This one, instead of a roll, I'm really just squeezing it in and packing it in. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and then wash my hands, wash everything, and then we're gonna do our last energy bite ball. So our last uh, no bake bites are these yummy, delicious coconut balls. So in here, I already have a quarter cup of rice puff cereal and half a cup of unsweetened coconut flakes. And just like in our first recipe where we had to grind up uh, the oats, we're gonna do the same thing with the rice cereal and the coconuts. Again, if you have a food processor, then just go ahead and um, chop this up until it's like um, a little bit more fine. But for those that don't have it, we are gonna do this method. Again, you can use this or just like a back, um, the back of any wooden spoon or anything. And again, if you have a big shallow bowl, then you can pour all of this in here and then everyone can do it at the same time. texture has changed so before the coconut flakes were really big and now they're a little bit finer and as well as the puff cereal so that's exactly like what you want it was actually a lot easier to do it this time around than with the oats but now that we have that in there the next thing we're gonna add in our equal parts of coconut oil maple syrup or honey and either milk i'm using lactose free milk um, you can also use coconut milk or coconut cream but we are going to add in one and a half tablespoons of each so i'm going to add in one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil just gonna get something to scoop this all out so that is one and now I need half a tablespoon one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup or honey um, but if you're using maple syrup then it's a vegan friendly recipe and an allergy friendly recipe as well um, and with the puffed rice or the rice cereal um, just if you are uh, gluten intolerant, just make sure and read the label um, that the rice cereal that you got is gluten free. And then we have one and a half tablespoons of milk, coconut milk or coconut cream, or you can also just use water. But I am using a milk alternative. 
So that's one and a half. And now we mix. actually adding in another quarter cup of crushed up rice cereal just because I noticed that the um, the the mixture was a little wet and I realized I might have added a little bit too much of the liquids and I left it in the fridge for a few minutes to make it easier to roll but same thing bowl of water we're gonna wet our hands and then roll these up into nice bite-sized pieces just like this so as you can see my friends these are the no baked uh, recipes so here is the applesauce and oats no baked these are our energy balls and these are our coconut balls and can I just say they smell amazing I cannot wait to try them, uh, but before we get to eat them, we actually have to refrigerate them for at least an hour or two. So I'm going to put these in the fridge for an hour or two, and maybe I'll enjoy it for snack time later. And I hope you guys tried this out. If you have any other recipe suggestions, please let me know. You can always email us your suggestions. All of our information is in the description box below. If you like this, um, please give a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and follow us on Facebook. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, my friends.